Continuous Improvement Management System. Bajat Hussain, Director of the Office of Balkan Accreditation, Faculty of Engineering at the Islamic University. ABET Inc., a Quality Assurance Agency. General Criterion 4 for Accreditation, Continuous Improvement. ABET Requirements for Program Accreditation Criterion 4. The program must regularly use appropriate documented processes for assessing and evaluating the extent to which student outcomes are being obtained. The results of these evaluations must be systematically utilized as input for the continuous improvement of the program. Other available information may also be used to assess in the continuous improvement of the program. The ABED Resource Room, which huge amounts of information uses objective evidence for continuous improvement. Writing for PEV questions, are all SOs being regularly assessed and evaluated? A through K plus any others defined by the program. Do the assessment tools and evaluation processes determine the extent to which SOs are being attained? Are the results systematically utilized as input for continuous improvement of the program? A sample of program weakness report from program evaluators. While the program has appropriate process for assessing student outcomes, there appears to be very limited use of the results to improve the program. By not systematically considering results from evaluation of student outcomes to improve the program, continuous improvement of the program is uncertain. Strength of compliance with this criterion is lacking. Real tests, Prism Magazine Online by Anna Mulrain. The event visits were a huge success at your school, but now that they're over, how do you put continuous improvement into practice? It's a terrible lot of work, but the payoff is really tremendous, adds Martinez. But now those campuses are facing new challenges, the implementation of continuous quality improvement phase of ABIT. A paper, web based course assessment tool, direct mapping student outcomes. Walid Yassin, Khalid and Demetrios, College of Information Technology, UAE. The assessment of curriculum outcomes is an essential element for continuous academic improvement. However, the collection, aggregation, and analysis of assessment data are notoriously complex and time-consuming processes. At the same time, only few developments of supporting electronic processes and tools for continuous academic program assessment and curriculum performance feedback have emerged. The University of Alberta, Edmonton, Canada estimated that the preparation for the last SEEB accreditation review of their nine engineering programs had cost them over $1 million and required the collection of more than a ton of documents and 16,000 man hours of preparation time. Unfortunately, there are only few developments of such electronic processes and tools for continuous program assessment and feedback. However, most of these systems have been designed in an ad hoc way, fulfilling the needs of a specific institution. Although closing the assessment loop is essential for continuous quality improvement of a curriculum, it is usually the most overlooked part and is typically where the assessment efforts get disrupted at the various levels. Now, Faculty of Engineering would like to introduce a state-of-the-art solution, CIMS, system to collect information for continuous improvement. Let's start with program evaluation first. Let's go to Term 362, ABET SO5 and Problem Solving, and drill down into a PI, failing PI for analysis. You go to PI 525. Go to the failing courses, activate edit mode, electromagnetic field theory. Go to the action items for 525. Let's elevate this action item and send it to a specific committee. A list of committees. We select electrical engineering as a committee and adjust the priority to medium and send the action item. It's been assigned. close this FR and going back to program test now we see this action item is created in the program test for electrical engineering program evaluation review for 362 let's go to the electrical engineering committee now and check the task list for this committee for this new action item 
document section, the committee meeting minutes. Now we go to the task list. In yellow are the assigned tasks, and we do see the new task is available in the task list. 29th of October. These are closed tasks in gray. We do see remarks in the dialog box. Different checked tasks. We can look into the history and look into the details of remarks. To get a detail of the entire history of any action item. Now let's go ahead and update the status and see what we could accept this task. And write in some remarks that this is a test. Now we do see the remarks. Let's go into the meeting minutes. Okay, let's set up a meeting. You see the attendees, the title, the date and time of the meeting. Let's add an agenda. Let's select some topics. So we'll have to brainstorm. In discussion, we have topics A, topic B, and topic C. Now let's select some of these topics for agenda items today. Agenda items is a category. Topics A and C have been selected in the discussion of topics in the agenda today. Let's look into topic A. And it's an ABIT category topic. Discussion. We need to create ABIT folders. Okay, and then the solution. We need to assign an action item for creation of folders today, 10-29-2016. Let's save this, move forward, let's create another table. Title is Topic C, and this is Lab Development. Discussion is Need Latest MATLAB Software. And the solution is Request an action item to the ID Committee for updation of the software license. Let's save and confirm and close these. Now we have to create the action items. Let's add meeting tasks. It's a medium priority, ABIT folder creation. Assign it to self. We're not going to send emails. Add task. Task created. Verify. Now let's edit the discussions. ABIT folder creation and the solution is an action is assigned for creation of folder on 10 2016 let's confirm and close and let's change the assign action item responsibility ownership let's delete everybody and just keep mine watch it Hussein as the person responsible to close this action item could see that verified now let's change the sorting and attach the ABIT folder action item under the ABIT folder agenda item verified now let's create an action item for topic C it's a high priority update MATLAB license assigned to the IT committee information technology no email alerts to the community moderator. It's a test. Add task, confirm, close. Now let's assign it to the whole committee. It's already assigned. Let's update the discussion. Update 2016 MATLAB license and the suggested solution is an action item has been assigned to the ID committee for requesting 2017 latest MATLAB licenses. Save, confirm, and close. And we can verify this in the meeting minutes. It's verified. It's right under the MATLAB software topic. So let's go and check the task list. And we do see the new task is identified and listed in the task item list. The one without the check mark is the information technology action item was just created and assigned. History, it shows the remarks. Let's go to the meeting minutes again. These are the meeting minutes, not yet completed. Let's go edit. Let's include this new action item sent from the program review. 
save will come from and close. Included action item is listed at the bottom. Let's edit and add the discussion and curriculum development. This topic should be further evaluated for removal or addition. In solution, let's write this topic should be removed. Save, confirm, and close. Now we can verify the included action item look into its history. And we can even change its status to close, but we're just testing this. I'm not going to close this now. Since we will delete this action item, we're not going to close this. It was just a test. Let's leave it open. Okay, now let's go back to the test list. And we can verify it's still open. Let's go back to the meeting minutes. Let's just close the meeting minute. The meeting closed 1029 by the program coordinator. Save status and close. Meeting is closed. Okay, this is a test. It was saved. These are the final meeting minutes. The template with the logo and the proprietary disclaimer at the bottom. Let's download. You'll have to go to Documents tab and upload this in October 2016. Let's create a folder with the name of the meeting. Let's copy the meeting minute name. Let's go back and create the folder. In October 2016, create the new folder. The new folder is created. Now let's open the new folder and let's upload the latest meeting minute file. It's been uploaded. It's ready to go. Now let's take a look at the uploaded meeting minutes. So it looks fine. These are all the 18 standing committees. Information technology. Let's see if the assigned task list is available. Yes, it's available. And the history is assigned to information technology. Let's update the task and reject this. Remove the email alert. This is a test. It's just test so let's just reject that and send it back to them it's not available anymore in the sign list now let's go back to the electrical engineering committee let's look at the task list yeah it's highlighted in red rejected by information technology let's just delete this action item let's delete the other action items as well This entire meeting was created as a test, including its action items. Delete. Sure we want delete, yes. We're not going to change it to close. We will delete this. Okay. Yes, delete. Delete it. And again, delete it. Let's go back to the meeting minutes. Let's edit this meeting. Yes, the action items have, are not listed anymore in the meeting minutes. Let's delete this action item. This is an included action item. Action items can be included or created in meeting minutes. That's the history. Now let's go ahead and delete this action item. Okay. And then let's go back and let's change the status to reject. It will be sent back to the program evaluation 362. This is a test. No email alerts to the program coordinator or the moderator of the committee. Let's go back into the meeting and delete the meeting. The meeting has been deleted. Task list is updated. Go to the document folder and let's delete this meeting folder and also delete the meeting minutes. These are all deleted.
you're good to go. Now let's look at all the other meetings, the committees, and the documents, and Eagle Eye View of all administrative procedures and processes happening at the Faculty of Engineering. History of action items. Action items connected to student outcomes results. Transferred from one committee to another. Tracked to the originator. And closing the loop is clear. We don't need huge amounts of documentation. We can even go to the program evaluations, the term reviews, and track action items. And we can see that it was rejected and returned to 362 term electrical engineering program review. We can look into other terms, look at closed action items, and look at the remarks. Traceability of action items is a very clear and transparent procedure. Requirement for event accreditation fulfilled. The cost for these procedures in documentation and reporting is enormous. With electronic systems such as the CIMS, we'd like to conclude on enormous savings and economic and electronic speed access of documents and reporting for accreditation or CQI purposes, a state-of-the-art Continuous Improvement Management System CIMS. We'd like to thank you very much for joining us in this presentation. Goodbye.